Hey there, Scorpios, and welcome back for another amazing August love reading. Shout out to all of you beautiful, amazing Scorpios. The sun is tremendously shining on you, Scorpios. Now, as you know, we are still in Leo season, so shout out to the Leos. Happy birthdays to you. Followed by Virgos, we'll be in Virgo seasons. Followed by Libra, we'll be in Libra season. Then it's all about the Scorpios. I said it's all about the Scorpios. Then it's going to be all about us, but it's still all about us now. I'm just saying. <laughs> So keep in mind, Scorpio, that these are general love readings and uh, collective readings. So they're not personal. They're not going to be for everyone. I am doing personal readings. Also, Scorpio, don't forget to check out Outer Spirit and cop you some Scorpio uh, bracelets. Uh, once again, you can use my discount code Brown Eyes 20 to get you a 20% discount. If you're interested in that, check out the description box below. So we're pulling from the angel guide today, okay? We already did a collective video and it's, it's look, it's, it's, so some of you guys check out the collective reading because your message could be in that one because your overall energy is Blessings and abundance. Ooh, 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 Scorpios, ooh, ooh, And then your next card says for, ooh, ooh, forgiveness and understanding. Ooh, inner child healing. Somebody is working on their inner child. Somebody needs to heal their inner child. For some of you guys, you got a lot of blessings and a lot of abundance around you. Maybe it's because, maybe it's because you're forgiving and you're healing your inner child. And for others, it could be somebody that you're dealing with needs to heal their inner child and you need to forgive them. All right. <laughs> there could be uh, some honest communication coming your way from someone that maybe you need to forgive. <laughs> oh, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Yes, that, that F word, the forgiveness word. So blessings and abundance for Scorpio. Now you've gotten this before, but you would you got it again. So we need to give it its proper attention. Blessings and abundance for Scorpios. It says a light of blessings and abundance is being wrapped around you now. And your angels want you to know that they are supporting you, Scorpios. They are encouraging you to trust in your intuition and any other guidance you are receiving at this time, as it will lead you towards tremendous growth and fulfillment. Many blessings are being showered up on you. Shower me with your love. Shower me with the love. <laughs> Look at here, Spirit says blessings are being showered up on your present situation. Whatever it is, it's already blessed. It says, if you have not yet experienced them, know that they will be revealed and shared in the perfect time, space, and sequence. All the doors to abundance, Scorpios, are now being opened to you. Angel wisdom is encouraging you to begin counting your blessings. Then you will be open to receiving even more of them and your extended message says abundance is the spiritual reward for trusting and sharing your gifts and talents when we align our choices and actions with the highest good uh, we will be blessed with opportunities so at this time you are in a place of deep spiritual connection and strength and are being given the opportunity to feel spiritually rich even if you are feeling sensitive or overwhelmed, the veil between the, this realm and heaven is thin and you have light and support all around you. If you have any concerns about finances or assets, know that the hand of the Most High is guiding your situation to a blessed outcome. Trust Scorpio in your talents and the angels who are supporting you so guess what guess what if you can't find your inner strength to believe in yourself trust in the divine you can never go wrong with the divine's plan scorpios so all spirit is telling you that all is well in every area of your scorpio life so let's see for scorpios with blessings and abundance spirit show me the blessings and the abundance for scorpio Ooh, these cars that is falling down <laughs> Blessings and abundance for Scorpios.
What is in store for Scorpios and blessings and abundance? Don't forget to thumbs up this video. Share this video. Leave me a high vibrational comment if this video resonates with you, beautiful, amazing Scorpios. I appreciate your support. You are absolutely amazing. And you deserve all the good things that the universe has for you. That's all. Because you are blessed. You are blessed. See, and there go the magician card. Starting this reading is the magician. Manifestations coming to fruition. Tapping into your spiritual gifts and your spiritual power. The things that you have planted roots, your intentions are manifesting here. They're happening for you, Scorpios, and it's happening behind the scenes. So if you've been experiencing delays, guess what? You're going to persevere. There go the chariot, but we're going to do this with love, all right? So let's see. The magician, somebody coming. Could be a Pisces. Could be a Cancer. You could be moving towards love. Spirit, what's going on for Scorpios and this blessings and abundance? Ooh, there it is. The Ace of Cups. Yeah, my, my grandson just steady texting me and then he finally called me and I answered and he steady texting and I told him everything and it don't matter because he keep on sending me. <laughs> he keep on sending me text messages from Amazon. He find another stuff and I'm like, OK. <laughs> and so I said, let me talk to him so he'll know that granny going to come get her baby. But it still didn't matter. Ooh, there go your blessings and your abundance. A life of luxury, partnerships, collaboration, team efforts. Look, long-term relationship, long-term uh, partner goals, relationship goals. So some of you guys may end up meeting someone that you guys really start planning a relationship, future goals. Some type of offer coming your way, page of pentacles. Could be from a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Could be a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. What is this blessings and abundance for Scorpios? Spirit, show me for Scorpios. Now, you know blessings and abundance is not all material things. It's not all um, worldly things. Sometimes it's spiritual. They go to eight of wands. Communication coming in. Some of y'all got some good news coming in. Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. But you remember one of your readings says something about October. They go to five of swords, though. Oof. It's in the reverse. Five of swords in the reverse. No more games. Somebody don't want to. Ooh, I see. They go to that Empress. Could be dealing with the Libra with the Eight of Pentacles. Something that you've been working on, Scorpio, is going to bear fruit. Because you know she's very, very fertile. She's fertile. So whatever you have been planting, it is bearing fruit. And you will see the manifestations of it. Ooh, Scorpios. This is beautiful. Y'all got some communication coming in. But it's something serious. You know, it's almost like your time ain't going to be wasted type of energy. So you have the five of swords, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius in the reverse. Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. With the Three of Pentacles, you got a lot of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Some of y'all dealing with a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn, a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces. Here, that's what I see. King of Wands underneath the bottom. With the page of Pentacles. So let's see. Why is this five of swords in the reverse for Scorpio's blessings and abundance? Someone feels helpless. Someone feels someone could be in victim mentality or <clears throat> someone may want to. <laughs> like, I feel like maybe you guys are overcoming something. I feel like somebody's trying to make a peace offering to you. All right. Somebody may be realizing that the games that they played don't work on a real one. God dang, because you just standing ten, ten toes flat and things. You standing on business and things. <laughs> Somebody may be looking at you like you don't play that mess, God dang it. So now they're going to have to change up. You got the five of swords in the verse and there go the lovers. So you got somebody coming in. 
It could be somebody here who is changing up, changing up their, their, their strategy because they're dealing with the real one and they know you ain't going. Okay, so some of y'all, this could be somebody from your past, see? Five of Pentacles, Five of Swords type of energy. Somebody waiting. And, but see, there's a delay. There's a hang-up, see? Seven of Pentacles, somebody has been waiting on you, Scorpio. Somebody may have been waiting for a chance to be with you. Somebody may be hoping that they can get your attention. Watch the page of Pentacles here. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. See there, Scorpio. See you. Some of y'all is manifesting and y'all doing good and y'all are oblivious to everybody around you. Ooh, page of Pentacles. Two of Cups. Some type of good news coming in from a soulmate. That you, look, your wishes are coming true that y'all don't, y'all not expecting this, Scorpios. Because of what I keep seeing is some of y'all heads is down or y'all on the grind. You on the grind and you have no, and you're blocking everything else. See, look. See, but look at here, look at here, though. Mm. There go your emperor. Look, look how they coming at you. But see, the y'all ain't putting up with it. Look, and this a soulmate too. So it could also represent somebody coming in to work things out with you. See the eight of pentacles, the empress. The nine of ones, y'all blocking this though, see? And look at them. They still coming. They're like, look, oh, come on, girl. Come on, girl. See? There go your emperor. And there go the empress, see? See, they, they don't want, see, you see the five of swords in the reverse. Now here your person is, the six of swords. They don't want to do that no more because they realize you ain't, you, you, you ain't going to put up with that. And, 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 and that's beneath you, all right? I don't know what they thought. Page of Pentacles, two of cups. So y'all got a soulmate that's trying to get you back, Scorpios. Don't come for the messenger. And they stressed out because they know you difficult. <laughs> They know you can be very, very difficult here, Scorpio. Somebody, y'all, y'all, y'all gonna get this person to run for their money. They gonna have to come correct or they gonna get their feelings hurt is what I see. What's up with this page of pentacles for Scorpios and this abundance? Blessings and abundance, see? Queen of Cups. They trying to, somebody trying to see if you single. See? Somebody say the way you got it going on, I know you got somebody. Little mama ain't no way in the world you think like that, shoes. I know somebody feeding you. <laughs> and here they coming in with a page of pentacles. So just because it's a page does not mean it cannot grow to something more. This could just be something new, something fresh. Uh, someone's curious. Someone is curious about your status. They want to know if you're single or not. And it's definitely going to be a very, very intense connection. But for some of you guys, it's some, a soulmate from your past. And they're stressed out because they may be thinking that maybe you single and you giving that cup out to somewhere else. Somebody may be trying to see, is you still single? Should I, should I even be trying? Because I feel like if they find out you're single, it's going to crush them. Whoever this is, because... They're all in your business, but they're coming in with the page. And that, that doesn't mean anything because, like I said, it could be somebody just trying to break the ice because you do have the Ace of Pentacles as well as the Ten of Pentacles. But they're definitely coming in. So soulmate is trying to win you back, all right? Maybe they're realizing that you are a blessing and that there can be a lot. Sometimes people don't realize that they ain't got it no more. Why is the eight of wands here for Scorpios? I know that magician card keeps showing up a lot. And there go the sun card. See, some of y'all dealing with the Leo. Happiness, new beginnings, joy, abundance of every caliber could be children. You do got the empress there and we saw the emperor. Why is the eight of wands? Somebody may, may have been trying to get in contact with you. See, and they go to eight of wands again. See, and they go to ten of wands. They want to talk about this. Ooh. I feel like there's a lot of coming. Look, and they go to eight of wands again. See, there's a lot of communication. See, somebody's making up their mind that they want to be happy with you. And they go judgment. See, eight of wands, the sun card. Eight of wands again, the ten of cups. 
and judgment. See, somebody made up in their mind. They want to start over. They want another chance. Maybe it ain't maybe it ain't somebody starting over. It's just somebody finally making up their mind to pursue you. I feel like somebody may be worried because they want you so bad. Somebody that set themselves up for a disappointment because they didn't already made up in their mind that they want you, especially with that Knight of Wands and the Emperor. But someone is looking at you like you're being difficult because you're blocking this. If they come in wrong, you, you they can't get in your look. They, they, they're not gonna they're not gonna uh, be allowed access into the Scorpio's kingdom if they come in wrong. They are an emperor, but this is somebody here who goes after what they want and who they want. But I feel like this person is just so into you like that. So it could be someone that you already know, Scorpio, or this is new energy that's coming your way. Because remember, your overall energy is blessings and abundance. Why is the magician here for Scorpios? Clarify the magician. The lovers, ooh, and that go the higher offense, see? Like, I feel like somebody already know that you're the one for them, and somebody said that they'll do whatever they need to do just to get your attention, honey. Somebody's manifesting you, Scorpios. Maybe you've manifested something in your life of abundance, but somebody is manifesting you too, because maybe they see you as the blessing and that is abundance. So somebody may already see the value in you. Because your overall energy is blessings and abundance. Somebody may be looking at you like you are a blessing. They go to Ace of Cups. Mm. Huh. And they go to freaking Nine of Cups. And they go to Six of Pentacles. He just, boy, he texts him back to back to back to back to back. Ugh. I hope that phone stay. I hope that folk phone stay. <laughs> Oh, Six of Pentacles. This is somebody that want to be generous. Somebody want to do something for this connection. Somebody want to plant the right seeds. And the reason why somebody's going to come in a very, very big way is because you're showing up. Somebody obviously see you as somebody here who is abundant because they're looking at you as or they're trying to find out your status. So for some of y'all, it's somebody from your past that thinks highly of you, but maybe you got tired of their ish. Maybe that's all they were offering was the Knight of Wands energy. Maybe somebody was a control freak. Somebody wanted to run it. But they clearly see you as somebody here who is very, very, uh, you, you a gift. But I feel like their only dilemma, the only thing that worries them is what if you're already involved with somebody because you got the lover's card. I feel like somebody, somebody, somebody could be saying they don't care if you got somebody. They're going to manifest you away from them. Ooh, with this magician card. See? I feel like somebody, I feel like somebody don't care if you have somebody. They're going to manifest you. Especially if it's somebody that you already know. Because I feel like their form of manifesting is doing everything for you in this time that they didn't do in the past. And if this is somebody new, they're stressed out because in their mind, you're the one for them. But what if you're not single? What if you already got someone? That's what they want to know. Somebody trying to figure out your status, whether it is somebody from your past or somebody new. It could be somebody on your job with this three of pentacles here, too. Why is the three of pentacles here for Scorpios? Clarify three of pentacles. See, they want to know. They go to devil card. Could be a Capricorn. And they go to seven of pentacles again. Mm. <sighs> Wait a minute, y'all. I'm sticking to the chair. They go to eight of cups. I feel like this could be somebody y'all walked away from, Scorpios. And everything that they did not honor in this connection in the past, they're going to honor it now because they know you ain't going. They know you don't play that, Scorpio. They know somebody has studied you a long time because you got the page of swords here. Somebody has really followed you or asked around or got some information about you or maybe somebody that you work with. 
I feel like this person feels looks at you like you are the complete package deal. See? And there go the star card. Could be an Aquarius for some of y'all. You are their starship. Come take them on away. And don't be late. See, the five of pentacles. Now, see, for some of y'all, I can believe that for some of y'all, it could very well be someone from your past because... Once again, with that five of swords coming up in the reverse, this was some mess that they did. When did it all cause? You know, somebody was a control freak, wanting to run everything. They're feeling defeated now because they may have ran you off. Now they watch you trying to come up with a clue of whether or not you single or not. Five of swords in the reverse. The lovers. See? Five of pentacles. That's them. Seven of Pentacles in the hangman, see? Ain't nothing happening. Y'all Y'all must have pulled all the way back from some type of energy here. And now they're watching you to see what's up. See, here they go. It's almost like somebody's scared to get their feelings or somebody's afraid that if, 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 they, if they offer you something, I feel like somebody's scared that they're going to get their feelings hurt because I feel like somebody's scared to be rejected. Page of Pentacles. And it's a soulmate, two of cups, nine of swords, queen of cups, page of swords, and the nine of pentacles. They're worried. So that's if it's somebody from your past. Now, if it's somebody new, they're still worried because, like, I feel like they, they want you. Somebody already see you as a blessing. So, like I said, for some of y'all, it could be somebody that you're working on yourself, you're building yourself up, and your attention is on, only on you and building your energy up. You're manifesting here. Things are growing for you. You may have outgrown somebody from your past, and you're blocking, and you blocking foolery. So someone already knows that if they want you, they're going to have to come correct, Scorpio, or they're going to get their feelings hurt. But I feel like somebody may be scared that they have lost you and that maybe you may be dating somebody else. The chariot. Why is the chariot here for Scorpios with this blessings and abundance? Overcoming obstacles, perseverance, victory. Cancer energy. Why is the chariot here? See? Ace of Wands. We got the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. Got three Aces here, Scorpios. Got the Lovers twice. Three of Pentacles for Scorpios. I feel like you are somebody's wish fulfilled, but for some of y'all, y'all got somebody blocked or they feel blocked. <sighs> See? <laughs> they may have a mustache, god dang it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's so funny to me. Don't be surprised if things are turning around, Scorpios. Like if somebody treated you like you were the underdog and like they were all of that, especially with that emperor and that knight of wands, they're, they, uh, they're, they're the ones that's watching you. I mean, because this is a perfect match here and it's a soulmate connection too, but I understand that they haven't been doing right by you. Of course, you don't have to settle for that. But I'm starting to feel like somebody that you used to deal with is finally realizing just what of a blessing and abundance you really, really are, you know, in life and even in their life. Because you got the Ten of Pentacles. So now you have the, the chariot. Why is the chariot here for Scorpios with its blessings and abundance? Chariot, the Ace of Wands, see? Six of Pentacles. They want to give and receive now. Somebody wants to give because they want to receive. They want it to be balanced. I feel like somebody's, see, that just as I said, that see, and they go justice, see? Blind, blind justice. 
No favoritism, no biased energy. What's fair, what's balanced? Could be a Libra here. Mm -mm, see, and there go the magician card. See, and the reason why I feel like they're trying to manifest you is because I feel like some of y'all are ignoring them. They're not coming under your radar because for some of y'all, y'all too busy focus on elevating your own life. And if they didn't already had a chance and they screwed it up, now you ain't quick to give them another one. And somebody, look, somebody has a newfound respect for you, Scorpios. It's what I feel. Now you got the Ace of Cups again. Why is this Ace of Cups here? Clarify the Ace of Cups for Scorpios and this blessings and abundance. Why is the Ace of Cups here? So I feel like your person going to have to stand up for themselves. And they go to Courage cards, see? Because I feel like everything this energy outside of you is doing, they're watching you, they're observing you, they're longer for you, they're meditating on you. But I feel like somebody's scared they're going to be rejected because of all the games that they played. See? That's why you can't play games. That is, if it's somebody from your past, if it's somebody new, they got to build the courage because they don't know if you're single or not. Somebody don't like getting, it, somebody, somebody don't like getting turned down is what I feel like. Could be a Leo. Ace of Cups. Strength for Scorpios and this blessings and abundance. See, and there go a king of wands. Is that the first king in here? I think that's the first masculine energy. Well, I did see the emperor with the uh, knight of wands. See, for some of y'all, could be a Leo. Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Ace of Cups, see. Knight of Swords. They finna chase after you, Scorpios. I feel like somebody wants to get your attention because I feel like I feel like you're not paying them any attention and I feel like it bothers them, especially if it's somebody from your past because there go the Two of Swords again, see? Especially with a King of Wands. You know this person is full of themselves. They probably in their pride and their ego and their feelings is being hurt because... Especially if it's somebody from your past that they, you, you, they don't have no control over you. You intimidate them is what I feel like. I feel like you're unpredictable to them. Because maybe they don't know you or maybe you've shown them something in the past. If it's somebody that you do know. And if it's somebody from the past, I feel like this person may be looking at you like you too bougie. You may, you may be, you know, you may make them work hard. You know what I'm saying? You, they may look at you like, like, like you're going to be a challenge, but they may also look at you like it's worth it. So now you got the Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. What's up with this Ace of Pentacles for Scorpios with blessings and abundance? What is the blessings and the abundance for Scorpios with this Ace of Pentacles? Ah, uh, snap. Two of cups, see? See, ooh, if these cards ain't showing it, see? Ten of pentacles, god dang it. Ain't this blessings in abundance? All right then, see? And there they go, see? So once again, they see you as a blessing in abundance, see? Ace of pentacles, two of cups, or they see this connection could be blessed and full of abundance. This is what they're discovering, see? That they had the blessing and the abundance the whole freaking time. They just need to get their ish together. But you see how these opportunities are constantly coming in for this connection. You got the Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands. All of the opportunities are here for something to be victorious. But I feel like they're going to have to make a move because I feel like y'all not. See, and they go to high priest. Y'all may not be talking to this person or this person may be trying to be spiritually led. This person may be trying to, um, you know what I'm saying? Tap in spiritually because I feel like somebody is scared. So if they're scared, then I feel like maybe you got history for some of y'all you made. Ace of Pentacles for Scorpios. They go to four of wands. See? You can have it all, Scorpios. I'm telling you, somebody may be looking at you like they can actually have it all with you because you are the blessing and the abundance because that's what the Empress represents. Now, it could also represent with this Empress and this Eight of Pentacles underneath the bottom. Somebody's trying to come back to you to work things out. See? 
Mm. Ten of Pentacles. You got the ten all through here. You got the ten. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Cups. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here for Scorpios? For five of Ten of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Long-term commitment. Mm. Ace of Pentacles. See? Ooh, this is repeating itself. See? This is confirmation here, Scorpio, that you are blessed and full of abundance. And whoever is coming your way, they're going to see you the same. Or you guys are about to build blessings in abundance. For some of you guys, it could be a cancer. Look at on the chair. Somebody's overcoming whatever mess they used to go through in order to get to you. They coming in. And the only thing they got on their mind is how they can build and grow with you. That's the only thing. I don't see no dis decisiveness. I don't see no, no, uh, no, no deceit. Because if this is somebody from your past, that's why you're not with them now. So th that's the last thing they want to do is keep on doing the five of swords. That's why that's in reverse. But not only that, your person's having a spiritual awakening. And what their spiritual awakening is, Scorpio, is that you bring the sun, you bring the happiness. This is what they're realizing about you, Scorpios, is that you are the one that's a blessing and full of abundance. It's you. It comes through you. This is, the, this is what it is. Whoever your person is, your soulmate is finally realizing that it's been you the whole time, Scorpio. You are the blessing in the abundance that they desire. And somebody's going to do whatever they have to do to get it back. Because maybe they were with you then and they did not acknowledge that you were a blessing in abundance. But I tell you, they're acknowledging it now because spirit is showing this person. This, this person realizes they want to have it all with you. You could possibly be there happily ever after. And they're making up their mind that they're going for it. So get ready, Scorpio, because your soul made us finna chase after you. Now, for some of y'all, y'all, you got the Queen of Cups. It could have been somebody you was in love with. You're about to get another chance, Scorpios. But that's your reading. Blessings and abundance. Please like, share, and subscribe.